think that's one of the things that we're definitely going to touch on with, with both of you is, you know, once you have a great business yeah. idea yeah. and then you sort of commit to deciding that you want to bring mm. it to life. Yeah. And then how do you how do you start the business? How yeah. do you how do you fundraise? And, and for any women out there who are thinking, I've got a great business idea, I might do it with a friend. Um, getting start, started is always yes. the hardest bit. So, yeah. you know, you've now got that, that problem, haven't you? Which is a great problem to have where you've got everybody wants your product. Um, and then, you know, how did you how did you raise money for it? You must have did you have to go and pitch to say, look, we need an investor, or at what stage did you get to? I, th I think we're incredibly lucky with that because, as Anna said, we we started the business um, and and knew that they were selling. Mm. You know, my son had had one for a year on alongside. You know, people were stopping us; they were asking us about them. We were at nursery. We knew that they would sell. You know, that was fantastic. And so, in fact, I think, oh, I don't know, we both put some money, I think it was yeah, raised. Yeah. But they had borrowed and stole yeah. from, you know, family, yeah. family and friends, but it was yeah. a small investment, didn't yeah. it? We were buying scooters by the truck. You didn't need an office then, I suppose. No, no, working from home. Yeah, home. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really I assume you do as well. Do you work from home or do you have a, no, a, a is it, where, where, how's that grown over the years? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, I think businesses, don't they, at the beginning, have very different challenges. And actually, ours, again, wasn't as... Getting the funding wasn't actually the problem. I think it was very of the moment. So we went mm -hmm. and, and, and pitched the idea, and, and the big ideas group who invested in us, uh, we were able to use their office space in Clarendon and, um, and be able to plug into their infrastructure for HR and legal. But I mean, still, we had no business experience. You know, we were starting with a blank page, and I think that's kind of same for us. Yeah. Terrifying, isn't it? Because you have to set up those processes from the beginning, merchant agreements and payment gateways and all of these things. Well, I think it's terrifying, yeah. as you say, but it's also, I think it's what gave us our USP, if you like, because you come at it totally, totally fresh, mm -hmm. and you question everything. Yes. Do you remember? We yeah. used to do pages and pages. Yes. And, well, how's the profit margin? Yes, absolutely. What you, yes. We're not going to be busy fools. You know, we're not going to mm -hmm. not make any money, but that doesn't seem right. And yeah. We would play around with it, and mm -hmm. we bucked an industry yeah. standard at the time, which was as a distributor, you definitely sold to the retailer. And we established one of the really early payment gateway mm, yeah. websites. Yeah. It was so hard to do in those yes, days. Yes, it was. You know, to find a payment yeah. gateway <laughs> in 2004 right. mm. and really exist. Yeah. Mm. And so it was early, early days of doing that. But that gave us what is still the model for our business mm. today. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, it was fantastic. really, I think it's really good. I think it's really healthy. Yeah. Also think there is a real similarity in that we're all knocking around with a lot of business experience, mm -hmm. but you've actually got time when you've got little children to reflect. Yeah. And I think that is when a, an entrepreneurial yeah. spirit comes out. Definitely. I 